Well, the helmet was basically designed to generate weak magnetic fields across the hemisphere, specifically the temporal lobe. So the way it's set up is that each pair of these solenoids are connected so that at any given time a magnetic field passes through the helmet and hence through the brain. Before the experiment could go ahead, Dr. Persinger took his subjects into a silent room where they were blindfolded. Don Hill had little idea of what he was about to go through as he entered the testing chamber. <laughs> 